gotta, I gotta thank first and foremost Oscar's, Oscar's family who saw them in here.
close to him, you know, you know his family, you know, the friends that knew him. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it was just it was just our, our way of uh, expressing ourselves the best way we could, you know. But, um, yeah, we the film. First, I want to thank the Sundance Institute for being there, present in developing the kind of directors and writers that we're seeing in this film. So thank you, Sundance. But I want to ask Mama. 
You know, Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood offers only certain kinds of roles to black actors. And then a film like this comes along. And there you were, golden globed and all that kind of, 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 of thing. And then this story comes along. What does that say to you as an actor and a, about the future for storytelling for all of the people that are up on the stage tonight? You know, I think it's a great question, but I think what appealed to me uh, about this story was the human aspect. You see, when I saw or read this, I saw my nephews, and I have four of them, and I have uh, great nephews. And, you know, we've come a long way in this country, but we still have a long way to go with how we deal with each other as human beings. And um, I wish that... Um, this were based on a fictitious story. I wish that a young man didn't have to lose his life so that we would be here on this solemn occasion. But I think it's a testament to who Oscar was and who he aspired to be that we are here because we don't need another Trayvon Martin. We don't need another Oscar Grant. And if we keep this story out there and talk about it, as human beings, talk about how we treat each other, talk about how we see each other, um, then hopefully it would not have been in vain. So it appealed to me as you know, an aunt. I'm not a mother, and I certainly would not be able to describe what Wanda and her family went through. But as an actress, I hoped to you know, start some serious discourse and hold people accountable. And um, so, God, I mean, I look at myself on screen and I cringe, so I don't know what I do as an actor, but <laughs> if, if those little awards help this little movie, you know, be part, become a part of the social consciousness, then, you know, hey, yeah. I have done something. <laughs> Thrown on set and you're like, act. 
Yes. <laughs> I don't know you. Um, so I think that that was something that we talked about, just like hanging out and getting to know each other. And I think that is really simple, but it's so helpful. And it helps you know the person that you're working with and how they like to work. Me personally, like working with Ryan was the first time, um, the second time, the first real time I got a chance to work with somebody that was close to my age. You know, kind of spoke the same language as I did. Regardless of us being both African American, we just, you know, same generation, you know, we get, we get it, you know, and we, we, we kind of, um, we're very like minded, you know, we kind of had the same kind of thought process. And um, it was just that much easier for us to kind of communicate and collaborate on certain things. Um, it was real tight, but we had a lot of prep as well. I got a chance to go up there and spend some time with you know, Ryan and his family and you know, absorb that Bay culture that is so unique. I'm, 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 from, I'm from North New Jersey, so you know, it's a pretty different. <laughs> East Coast is so different from the West Coast. You know, um, the Bay is so different from Los Angeles. And just getting up there and just being around him and his family, and, um, Oscar's family and, and friends, it, it just uh, it just made it that much easier. And, um, you know, Ryan's an incredible director. He's making fun of Thank you guys again for hanging with us.